Diana Daymark here, rah, rah, rah. Go us, because we are still going strong with our 40 day challenge. Now, let me just put my thumbs on this down. I am filming this on Friday. Uh, I'm, I'm just actually about to leave for the airport. I'm going to visit uh, mum in Scotland and Edinburgh and see my family and the kids and hubby, they are here at home. They, they can't join me. And I'm going to a, a family party tonight in Scotland. Uh, but don't worry that the kids and uh, hubby are going to be well looked after. They, they can fend for themselves. They know how to, you know, run the dishwasher and keep the place tidy. And I've even left them their, their usual basket of Friday uh, hygge snacks, you know, like the fly, fly lady date night thing. So anyway, everything's going to be all right. Now, I, I just wanted to bring you up to date with our challenge. I've been posting a video every week here on YouTube and I've also been making a daily video on Instagram. So all the Instagram uh, people out there, you, you've seen these videos before. But this is a recap uh, and it shows you just by focusing on, for example, I'm working by zone, the things that you might find in that zone and we're just going for one item. Often I find other things during the day but I'm just showing you the one item because that's all you need to get started. Just just one thing, you don't need to be going, you know, 20 bags every day. And before I roll, you know, the, uh, the week's videos, I wanted to share a few things with you. Uh, the first week of the challenge, I told you that we had quite a few old phones that were very um, decrepit, bashed. Can you see that? It's all kind of uh, taped up. Wasn't possible to replace them or repair them, you know, without costing an arm and a leg. And we had several of these and I had just kind of put them into a drawer and thought, mm, well, and they're no use to anybody because they don't work. The, the screens were cracked. The electronics were, weren't, weren't working. But I heard about this thing uh, online where there are places or are stores that will buy back, you know, um, iPods, uh, iPads, uh, Kindles, things like that that don't work. Now, of course, be careful who you're selling to. If you can get the information off your phone, that's fine. I, I'm not going to give any links because, you know, I'm not here to make money. I don't do affiliate links and mid-roll ads and, um, you know, all those kind of things. So I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the name of the company that I used in Denmark but find you know a reputable company and what I did was I sent off I think it was three we had three phones that just didn't work and I was going to take them to recycling uh, because you know get rid of them responsibly but I, I sent off the the three phones this one they wouldn't take because it's an old model a really 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 old model but um, you, you just kind of, uh, what, what I did was, uh, this service is you go online, you check, you know, what type, what model it is, if, uh, how broken it is, does it work at all, does it work a bit, and they will give you a, an offer, and I even, you know, the, they sent me the, uh, the, the postage thing that I just had to, you know, put it into a, an envelope, stick the postage thing on it, take it the, to the post office, and uh, actually three days later, they said, okay, we will give you a uh, hundred krona for the three iPhones. Now that was fantastic because that was money that was just lying in a drawer and it wasn't much money, but it's better than a slap in the, in the face with a wet kipper. So the other thing I want to say about is don't leave these things too, too long because if we had sold those, you know, uh, decrepit phones earlier, we could have got more money for them. But, you know, I had put them in the drawer and thought, mm, I'll deal with that later. You're, you're not doing yourself any favours by just shoving them in a drawer and then hoping to sell it later. And I've said this to you before about, you know, we maybe keep uh, some clothes. I had that pair of uh, boots and it was like a plastic heel and I thought, oh, I'll keep those boots plastic heels and kind of plastic boots do not last more than about 10 years and I told you when the first time I tried to wear them again you know the whole thing was breaking up on the street so don't don't kind of think oh you know I'll keep that and I'll deal with it later because you know later never happens and uh, you know you, you could have actually got some money from it now you don't need to please don't go thinking you need to sell stuff on Amazon and eBay the, the other thing that happened for me this week, as I'll, let me just show you, I was um, getting rid of some file folders and I had put them for sale in, you know, I'm a member of a, a ladies club here in, in Copenhagen and 
last uh, last week I had um, a tablet, a Samsung, a Samsung tablet, not not an iPad, but an old tablet that I wasn't using because I used my my son's old iPad, and it was here in the kitchen drawer oh, behind me, also gathering dust, and I put that for sale in my ladies' club, and I got three hundred and fifty krona for it. Now you need to Google that, but it's about forty pounds in UK money. Again, for something that I wasn't using and the lady came to get it and she was buying it for her kids and she knew that because she was buying it for me in the ladies club, she could kind of, you know, trust me and I, I don't like selling to people that, you know, I, I don't know, but the ladies club is fine and anyway, to get back to the point of the story, uh, I was also selling some, I had like 20 of these file folders from when I switched systems, I've got everything now, I've decluttered so many papers, go me, that I, I now have all our papers in um, a big filing cabinet. Because remember, the more folders you have, the, the longer it takes to file things because you're having to pull out every individual folder. Uh, don't, don't, don't go down that road, it's not a good road to go down. Anyway, I had about 20 of them and, you know, they're, they're brand new, or basically, you know, good as new. And I tried to sell them in the group. I thought, you know, maybe somebody wanted them. Nobody wanted them. So I put them into a group and said, you know, free to a good home will accept chocolate. And two ladies contact, contacted me. So they're, they're each getting, they each uh, get, you know, 10 folders. Maybe they've even got some more. And one of the ladies, she, she came round yesterday and she um, is, imports, um, birch juice to Denmark so she came with this little um, gift in return for me and and that's the thing you know you pass things on to somebody else and she turned up with this little gift for me of uh, birch juice which we tried this morning you know tapped from birch trees well I'll just show you we tried that one this morning and you know I, I have been holding on to those files for I don't know how long I got to meet somebody new from the group was really nice and the other lady who is uh, coming to collect these she is a yoga a yoga teacher I believe and she said oh, hold on let me down straight uh, she said oh you know anytime you're coming by uh, the yoga place come in for a cup of coffee and a, cup, a piece of cake or I'll give you a 30 minute massage so you know let's get these things out there think about you know you could be uh, you know as fly lady always says bless somebody else with them instead of hanging on to the stuff and it just getting dusty in your house, you know, hang, hand it on to somebody else who can use it. One of the great Instagram comments that I got this week was, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was because there are so many of you posting with your, your 40 day challenge items. Uh, it was a lady saying that she had some Afghan blankets and they had just been sitting in a bag, you know, for a year and she had handed on them on to somebody else who, you know, could could need them. Who was probably living outside in the cold and needed to warm up their their hands and could enjoy the Afghan blanket. So think about that. We're we're not just getting rid of the stuff in our homes. We're helping somebody else, uh, and and it all adds up to less clutter in our houses. And the, the okay, the last thing I'm going to say because really I need to get I need to get going to the airport. Uh, last thing I want to say is remember here when you are doing this 40 day declutter challenge I've only asked you to do one thing which is you know find one item a day and I know a lot of you are finding more and the thing is here that you're not just getting rid of one item you're actually in your head you're stopping new stuff from coming in because you're making yourself aware on a daily basis of what you have, you know, where we've been working by zone, you know, what you've got in the kitchen, we were in the kitchen last week, what you have in the bathroom, so that next time you are out shopping, you know, out and out shopping at the shops or at the store, you're not going to be tempted to buy it again because you'll say, mm, actually, I've just threw some of those out because I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not using them or I didn't like them. So anyway, I'm going to uh, stop now. I shall show you the next seven days uh, from day, what was it, what did I say, day 22 I think it was and forward and I shall see you on Instagram if you're working with us on Instagram. Remember you don't need to have a profile on Instagram to see what 
I'm doing just click on the link that's in the video information uh, and you can see the little video every day. You'll also see my picture of the shiny sink and the flying lady on the chicken. Uh, the chicken's over here today. Um, anyway, watch those videos and I shall see you very soon and I will back, be back with you with a video probably on, uh, probably on Tuesday. Okay, Diane in Denmark, as usual, live long and prosper. May the Danish hygge be with you wherever you are in the world. Just do something nice for yourself today. Uh, watch the videos and go fling, fling, fling. Okay, see you soon. Day 22 of our challenge. Woohoo! Go ask Kimasha. Day 22 and we're still going strong. I've moved into Fly Lady Zone 3, that's this week's zone, which is the bathroom and uh, one other room. So you'll see me in lots of different rooms this week. Anyway, starting off with the bathroom, a razor which has seen better days. I'm a winter bather. I skinny dip in the Danish North Sea all year round. So I shave my legs all year round. I, I just do it every couple of days when I'm standing in the shower. Anyway, this is going out. Let me know what you are flinging or handing on to a friend, giving to the charity shop. Post a picture, that would be really great. Hashtag down in Denmark. And otherwise, just comment down below. Uh, but just go for one item because it all adds up to less. The clutter is going out and this is going out right now. Okay, see you soon. Well, here we are again and it's day, I think, 23 of our challenge. I'm working by zone. I'm down here uh, in the laundry room or where I do my laundry. My son turned 18 at the very end of December and I held on to these balloons. That, yeah, there's hardly any air left in them, but you know what? there's just something fun about balloons. Anyway, today is the day that they are going to leave the building. He didn't want them anymore and we're, we're, we've had as much fun as we can. So... I'm getting ready to, to go chop chop. Post a picture with what you are flinging today. Maybe you're, you can give it to a friend or take it to the charity shop or otherwise, you know, if it's broken or stained or torn, uh, get it in the recycling. Let me know what you are flinging. Uh, you can post a, um, a comment down below or post your own picture uh, with hashtag Diana Denmark and we can give each other a rah, rah, rah. Okay, go us. Day 24 of our challenge and I'm here in our basement. Uh, it's zone three and I'm using the basement as my other, one other room this week. I found this little bag, it's been gathering dust and inside is one of these um, entertainment systems, you know, for the car. It's a, it's a DVD player. Now, my kids haven't used this for years and I've been holding on to it. Today I'm going to check that I've got all the cables, see if it works and I shall try and sell it through the ladies club. I'm a member of a, an international ladies club here. If it doesn't get sold then it's going to the charity shop, so go me. You don't need to work by zone, I find it helpful to do it by zone, but if you've got something that you're going to give away, uh, hand on, recycle, Hashtag Diane in Denmark, post a picture, that'd be great. Otherwise, comment below and just go and fling. Day 24, woo, go us. Okay, it's day 25 and this is my one item for day 25. It's a set of plastic cups, plates, I, I don't know if, if you can see here. And we got these a long time ago and used them so many times for kids' birthday parties. Um, we, we don't use them anymore. I mean, my kids are now uh, 15 and 18, so, so we don't need this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all through the dishwasher. And look, we've even got cutlery as well. I'm going to put it through the dishwasher and see if our local um, playgroup wants it. And if not, I'll take it to the charity shop. So anyway, post a picture, um, hashtag Dan in Denmark, and let me know what you are flinging or handing on to somebody else or putting in the recycling. Otherwise, just leave a comment down below. But let, let's get this stuff out of our homes, you know, and hand it on to somebody else who may be able to get some use from it. Okay, anyway, see you very soon. Bye for now. Day 26 of our challenge, woohoo, go us. I've just been doing a swish and swipe in the bathroom, so what better time to have a wee look and see if there's something I could let go of. I found two things, a fragrance burner, which I got at a clothes swap, two clothes swaps ago, not really using it, and it's not, not my thing actually, so that is going back to the clothes swap. Somebody else might like it. And I found a few old uh, face cloths, 
which have seen, you know, they're past their best. And I got some new ones from Ikea the other day. So these ones are going into my travel bag for next time we go on vacation. Uh, then we can use, it's the same with, you know, like if we've got some old towels or old beach towels, we take those with us, use them and then don't bring them back. So anyway, let me know what you are flinging, whether it's zone three or somewhere else. Uh, hashtag Diana Denmark or else comment below and keep going. We're on day 26. Go us. See you soon. Day 27 of our challenge. I'm in Edinburgh at Mum's house and I've actually just come up to have a wee look at my old bedroom. Uh, this is where I used to put posters on the, on the wall, my Buzzcocks posters. Anyway, uh, items for today. I've got two and Mum's got one. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing a, um, a lacy um, grey vest today and I always wear something underneath my tops to keep my, my tummy warm has seen better days so that what once I've finished with it today it's not going back to Copenhagen with me because I got a new one at the clothes swap party also some uh, socks which are kind of past their best once I've worn those today out they go and mum has had this teapot it's probably from her auntie auntie Mary uh, and has been using it for, but you know what she deserves a new teapot so she is decluttering this one today and uh, we're going to get her a new one when we're out shopping so anyway let me know what you are decluttering and see you soon